Hey, this is Cesar Santos, and in this video, I'll be teaching you the beginner's outline of the sewing machine, as well as learning how to do a straight stitch. In this video, I will be covering the basics for, uh, for sewing for beginners. And just keep in mind that the sewing machine I'm using may be different from yours. And I will be covering the basic functions of all sewing machines that you, that you usually use on a, if you sew a lot on a daily basis. So let's get to it. So you have your needle right here, you have your presser foot, and then located usually underneath the sewing machine, depending on your model specifically, you have the bobbin case and the bobbin. Moving on from there, you have the thread, which depending on your sewing machine could be uh, routed differently, so make sure you keep in mind that you look to your, your uh, user's manual and route that correctly because routing it incorrectly will not make will cause the sewing machine to not work or it could even possibly damage it. So just be aware. From there, you have a dial that adjusts the thread tension. And then you have your thread, which routes on mine all the way up here, up to my thread, which is located up here. On some sewing machines, you have the ability to control the stitch count per inch. Here it is on mine. On some it's electronic, on some it's a dial just like this one. And on some of the higher end models, you do have a reverse, or you have the ability to use a reverse. And on most sewing machines, I know that I've seen, they actually as well have a bobbin re-threader here that is, is goes up, comes up to the top, and then you're able to rethread as you're sewing. It just uses the mechanical operations of the machine while it while you're sewing. Now moving on down, you have your presser foot. On most sewing machines, it's actually electronic, like on Brothers and on Singers that you buy from the store. On this one, it's actually a clutch type. And then as well as you have your presser foot lifter, which is located on this one down here on the bottom. But on most consumer grade machines, you it's actually located either here on the side, which on this one, it actually has it on the side too as well. And then of course you have your, your power switch, which on this one is actually located on the bottom. And just be aware, make sure you refer to your user's guide on your sewing machine on how to properly maintain it, oiling it before use, as well as making sure that you route the thread right, and also as well as positioning the needle correctly, because on every sewing machine, the needle is actually, has to be placed correctly as far as, um, where the end tip is facing, if it's either facing away from the machine this way, or if it's facing this way. I know it's different on some machines, so just make sure you look into that, because if you place this incorrectly, it will cause the machine not to sew correctly, and you can also possibly damage the machine. All right, so now we'll be getting into a basic stitch. It'll be one of the very first stitches that most beginners learn. This is a straight stitch using you know, just a regular presser foot, nothing fancy, and just some regular thread. You don't even have to use any high-end thread. This is actually um, really thick nylon thread, so it's um, for industrial use, like upholstery. And so we'll go ahead and get to it. So you just power your machine on. Of course, make sure your thread and your needles placed correctly, and just. You can just practice with some fabric you may have laying around like I just did. I just grabbed some scrap material I had. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and just place the material where it's either on your project, depending on what you're working with. If it's just edge to edge like this, just place each fabric close together. And then also what you want to be aware of is your seam allowance. So if you're using if you're doing a project where you, you specifically have on your patterns a quarter inch, a half inch, 
an eighth inch seam allowance, you want to just make sure you follow that specific guideline. That way, you when you create, when you're finished creating your product, it's going to come out exactly like you planned it. So on this one specifically, I'm using a quarter inch seam, which is just the edge of the foot. And I'm going to start here at the end. You just lift the presser foot up and you let it go down. And you just begin slowly tapping the pedal. If it's electronic, you can actually set the speed. On this one specifically, it's just by the pressure of, of the foot. So just go ahead and just tap it. And just follow the edge on your seam. And just make sure your, your product is nice and level with the material. Remember, patience. You gotta be patient with what you're working with. Especially if you're starting off. I remember it took me a while just to get a straight stitch done correctly. I was all over the place. Now you can take a look and see that it's all good. And then when you open it up, your seams are nice and good, nice and tight. On this one, the thread count's really low, so there's a lot more threads per inch. So your, your thread might be a little wider, but that's a basic straight stitch. All right, so that was a beginner's guide in sewing, as well as just the basic functions of your sewing machine. Just remember, keep in mind that each model is different from one another, so refer to your owner's manual. Thank you for watching. This is actually my first YouTube video on this channel. I will actually keep posting videos on a weekly basis I'll be covering a lot of stuff related to sewing as well as creating products and other cool stuff that I know you will love and like. So definitely hit that subscribe button and I'll see you soon. Hey, before I forget, follow me on all my social platforms at C Santos. I post a lot of cool content that I make on a weekly basis, Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. Definitely give me a follow and I'll follow you right back.